there's a mood in a summer house that is really special. It's about the atmosphere, and that's super important to humans. The atmosphere of living, and that's important in Danish architecture. Personally, I love my own summer house. I get my car and I go to the coast, and when I stop the engine, it's like a totally different world. Smells, sounds, waking up in the morning, taking a swim at the beach. It's a different space, and it makes me feel really calm. It's a sanctuary to me. Danish summer houses, they are closely related to our memories. It's about collecting happy times with friends and families. It's about a simple life, and it's something we remember from when we were kids. So in that sense, it's, it's a tradition. Being here gives a feeling of togetherness. It evokes new senses. It's a way of life that we build upon, and to me it's related to the good life and also the clarity of thoughts. You get new inspirations. You are reset when you enter the summer house, and that's just perfect to me. The tradition of Danish summer houses go way back, and it's about appreciating uh, nature. During the 19th century, people uh, moved to the vast coastal areas during summertime in their small cottages. And today, we still have that tradition of small houses in close relationship to nature. The interesting thing about summer houses is the restriction in space and the solution it gives us. Being in such a small space forces you to think differently, but it also forces us to design differently. The emphasis on small living in summer houses is influencing how we think in traditional architecture. Because now and in the future, we have to uh, use less space. Sustainability has always been ingrained in the Danish DNA, and it's brought into uh, our architecture. It's about the love of wood. It's a simple material, it's sustainable, and it's long-lasting. Summer House is also about simple crafting techniques, about traditional techniques that go back in time, like the use of carpentry, about the use of simple stone, and also uh, thatching. It has to be natural material that brings you as close to nature as possible. Danish architecture is influenced by the site you build on uh, the materials at hand, the people living there, and the nature surrounding us. And that, in a, you can say, a perfect combination, that's the essence of, uh, of Danish architecture. The Danish coastal uh, landscape is fantastic. You have the soft dunes, the sand. It's all about the closeness to water, the tranquility, and the sense of freedom. The summer house represents our close relationship to nature. I think the success of Danish architecture internationally right now is linked to creating things that last and that is human-centered. It's about longevity and it's about creating something that we really care about, that we give on to uh, future generations.